Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Careful what you wish for. Dems FBI probe into Kavanaugh about to backfire brutally on them. The Judge Kavanaugh controversy has been hitting headlines. Democrats and Republicans are eating each other alive in the Senate Judiciary Committee over the issue. Now that a Federal Bureau of Investigation investigation has been issued new developments are in store. After Senator Jeff Flake indicated that he would only vote for Kavanaugh on the full Senate floor if there was a committee vote the investigators started chasing down leads. However, there was more Senate input on the issue. Senator Bill Cassidy put himself in the fray by commenting on the FBI investigation to the media. Breitbart News reported. Just like their other tactics throughout this confirmation process, Senate Democrats' demands for an FBI investigation have never been about getting the facts or finding the truth. If they were, they would have alerted law enforcement months ago, as soon as they learned of the claims. Instead, they waited until the last minute to leak them in order to delay the vote. That is why any FBI investigation of the allegations against Judge Brett Kavanaugh should include potential coordination between the Democrat operatives and lawyers that assisted in bringing them forth. What Senate Democrats really want is more time to smear Judge Kavanaugh, regardless of the toll it takes on his wife, his daughters, and our country. Democrats will not suddenly require evidence to declare Judge Kavanaugh guilty of being the worst kind of criminal. They will not suddenly abandon their assumption that all accusations against Republicans are credible and to be believed. If the FBI turns up nothing significant, they will say what Joe Biden said in 1991, that the FBI does not reach conclusions. They will say the FBI did not have enough time to conduct a thorough investigation. What they will not do is admit they were wrong to accuse Judge Kavanaugh of being a gang rapist, or a rapist, or a sexual assaulter, or a drunk, or a perjurer, or a hothead unfit for the bench. If the delay facilitates new allegations from Michael Avenatti or someone else, it will not matter how ludicrous they are. Democrats will instantly call them credible, demand more delays, more FBI resources, and more hearings. They will attack anyone who disagrees. Delay, delay, delay. That's all they want, because their goal is to do anything and everything to smear any nominee, anyone, and block Republicans from appointing another justice to the Supreme Court. We cannot and should not let that happen. Think Progress reported. On Saturday morning, Senator Bill Cassidy, RLA, responded to news that the FBI will investigate sexual assault allegations against Brett Kavanaugh by calling for an investigation of Democrats, in particular, whoever was responsible for leaking a letter written by Dr. Christine Blasey Ford detailing her story of being assaulted by Kavanaugh. Echoing the evidence-free conspiratorial language Kavanaugh used during Thursday's hearing about the origins of Ford's accusation, Cassidy suggested some sort of Democratic plot is at work. This is part of a broader Democratic strategy to coordinate and in that coordination, to seek to delay, Cassidy said on Fox & Friends. How many more charges can be brought out to smear this man, to create legitimate doubts in the minds of some of the American public? There are other things the FBI should do, but it should investigate whether indeed there is this intent to coordinate, and in fact, the actual coordination, Cassidy added. Cassidy singled out Senator Dianne Feinstein, DCA, calling for her to be interrogated under oath. Feinstein, the top Democrat on the Judiciary Committee, denies playing any role in leaking the letter Ford wrote to her detailing her story of being assaulted by Kavanaugh at a party in 1982. Let's actually investigate. Ask Dianne Feinstein under oath, did she leak it? Then ask her aide, he said. The Intercept, which broke the story about Ford's letter, denies that Feinstein and her staff were responsible for the leak. Ford actually praised Feinstein for the way she and her staff handled her accusation during Thursday's hearing. Nonetheless, later during Saturday's Fox & Friends, co-host Rachel Campos Duffy went as far as to smear Feinstein as the real villain of the Kavanaugh scandal. Cassidy's comments are a page out of the playbook that Team Trump has been using to deflect from damaging revelations in the FBI's investigation of the Trump campaign for possible collusion with Russia. Rather than responding to new revelations on their merits, Trump and his Republican enablers have raised concerns about process and called for the investigators to be investigated. Just a few days ago the Senate Judiciary Committee held a hearing where Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, Kavanaugh's first accuser, testified before the committee regarding her allegations. Shortly thereafter, in the latter half of the day, Judge Kavanaugh testified before the committee in defense of himself. Democrats, Republicans, and a leadership chosen sex crimes prosecutor questioned the both of them. The following day, the Senate Judiciary Committee gave senators the opportunity to give speeches before the committee. 
At 1.30 p.m. they voted to get Judge Kavanaugh's nomination out of the committee. He passed on a strict party-line vote. With the FBI investigation now underway what will happen in a few weeks is unknown, event with Senator Cassidy's input. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.